Okay, so once you get it like that, then what we can do is take, I like this plastic one because you can actually bend it a little bit. Just come around the cake like this, wipe off the excess. Oh, they want your recipe for whatever that cake is. My recipe? <laughs> what kind of cake is it and do you make your own icing or do you buy it? I make my own icing. We gave a recipe out that's similar to the icing that I use because I still am in business. <laughs> okay. And um, for a bakery in business, um, it's important that I just keep a couple of things. Um, my cake recipes and the exact buttercream recipe, I kind of still, that, those are the only things that I really still keep to myself just because it's, you know, other bakeries in the area could, you know, get those and use them. And, and that would actually kind of, you know, yeah. put me out of business. You don't um, that. I'll tell you anything else. You <laughs> what else do you want to know? <laughs> Probably some other thing that. Uh, Susan, which would you suggest is better icing to use, bought or homemade? Um, homemade, I like as long as you use a high ratio shortening, because that makes it smoother and creamier than the store bought. So that's what I use. This is some acetate paper. Some of you have seen me use it before. It's like a cake color. This one got a little beat up, but you probably can see it better since it's beat up. Um, copy cake sells these. They sell them in a big roll. Um, if you have cake shops near you, near you, like my, for instance, my cake shop, we sell it just by like the foot or 25 cents um, because most of the time you'll never go through a whole roll. So I just cut this paper like this and then come around like this. A lot of times what I would do is once I get it kind of smooth is go ahead and refrigerate it or even pop it in the freezer. That way it's nice and firm when I put the fondant over it. But we really don't have time for that, do we? Did you guys just want to sit there online for a couple minutes or like 10, 15 minutes? Maybe just watch it freeze up? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Any other questions besides what my cake recipe is and what my... <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and uh, that looks pretty good like that if I just leave it like like that again if you can refrigerate it at least until you roll out your fondant then that's really good okay so I'll pop that off to the side probably won't be needing this so let me get this out of the way oh look at that thank you Michael thank you all right fondant I'm helping, I'm helping. he's a helping <laughs> get over here and roll out this uh, fondant yeah, no <laughs> okay, this is roll fondant. This is a blue color by Satin Nights. Yes, that's my favorite meat. Um, and on this blue, um, it was a little brighter than this, but the school color is actually a little bit darker. So I just took some of the black Satin Nights and mixed it in, just kneaded it in to this one to get just a little bit darker shade. Sometimes I like doing that better, or, or yeah, better than um, using the liquid gel colors just not quite as messy. Okay, so always make sure that you knead up your fondant enough so that it has the last elasticity in it so that it will stretch and go over your cake. And this is more than I'm probably gonna need, but I don't wanna screw up in front of you guys, right? Nah, who cares if I do, right? I can fix it. Okay, so knead it up, kind of flatten it out a little bit. Now you can ask me whether I like to make my own fondant or if I like to uh, buy it, I like to buy it. Because when you actually make it, it takes a while. You've got to um, knead it a lot, and I don't have time for that. There's uh, tons of fondants out there on the market now. Um, and there's also, you know, the, like the marshmallow fondant that a lot of you guys in there make. Um, but I always just get the Zatanice.